Here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. Oh, yeah, that's right. And good evening, everybody. We're going to start off tonight with this picture from Lynn Richardson. This was tonight's sunset. Sun showing off some crepuscular rays there. Cool looking shot out there, out there by Powell, Wyoming. Now, I like this shot. This also comes from Jennifer Anker Woods. This is by sunset of Wapiti, Wyoming. Now, look at that. That is the uh, the moon setting tonight as well. So uh, that's what we got out there. Here's the way things are shaping up in Billings right now from ICAM 1. It is 78 degrees with mostly clear skies out there. Winds out of the southeast at about 6 miles per hour. And as you can see, it feels like 78 degrees. Humidity, not much of an issue right now. It's at 30%, so it's about where it needs to be. Meanwhile, you'll notice that 91 was our high temp today. The normal high, 80, so we just blew the doors off that. The record was 97 back in 1978, so we came pretty close to that. The record low was 39 back in 1956. And when it comes to precipitation, now Nothing new fell in our rain gauge, so for the month of September, we've got bupkis right now. Nothing. We're starting to fall a little bit behind. For the year, though, we're still ahead of normal at 13.92. Actually, we're ahead of the entire year. Uh, the entire average annual precipitation is 1366. We got almost a third of an inch ahead of that, so we're doing okay. Meanwhile, around the rest of the state, our current temperatures mostly into the 60s and 70s out in the west. Across the high line, some 60s and 70s there. It is 78 in Billings right now for one of the hot spots. You see 58 though over Glendive and Williston, North Dakota. They're right now coming in about 53 degrees. Now, these are our reported highs. A lot of folks got into the 90s today, like Billings, Livingston, uh, Helena, Missoula got up to 93. That was one of your hot spots. 90 degrees over at Great Falls. Up here across the High Line, 60s and 70s. A few 80s here or there. So that's the way things are shaping up. And you'll notice along the High Line, we also had a threat of some isolated thunder showers in our thunderstorm outlook for today and also in the southwest. Now, tomorrow, it looks like that threat of isolated storms continues to track across northern Wyoming. And we might see some of that stuff pop up in the southeastern Montana as well, but probably nowhere near the Billings area. At the moment, what we do see is some scattered showers that started in Beaverhead County in the southwest, kind of made their way up in towards the central part of the state around Helena tonight, and then it just they're supposed to follow the jet stream and push on down, but you'll notice they're starting to fade already, so I don't think those guys leave and get up over the mountains, so we're not looking for any rain aren't coming our way tonight. The big story is a big ridge of high pressure. You can see the moisture in the Great Basin area and also some warmer air. That moisture is trying to make its way up in towards western Montana. It just doesn't have enough to get too much farther than that. And as you'll see here tonight, uh, we had all this cold air pushed through last night and it actually cooled us off very nicely today. Now tomorrow we have a new warm front developing across western Montana that will continue to sweep across into the eastern edge of the state. That will warm us up into the uh, upper 90s in some cases maybe around 100 degrees tomorrow. Then right behind that here comes a new cold front. So you'll have a southwesterly wind at first. Wrap around that low, and then you'll have a northwesterly wind coming in, and that'll give us uh, some very rapid wind changes, and that could cause some wild, erratic fire behavior tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. After that, cooler temperatures as we head into Thursday, generally dry conditions there tonight. We cool back down to the 40s and 50s out in the west, back in the east, generally into the 50s and some low 60s with clearing skies for tomorrow. Back up into the 90s, look at that, uh, maybe 86 or 89 at Sheridan, 102 at, at Hardin. The record is 104. Billings, the record is, nine, is, is 100. We're going up to 98 degrees tomorrow. Same thing over at Roundup in the far west into the 90s there. Maybe 87 over at Missoula and over at Butte tomorrow. But for Billings tonight, down to 61 degrees with mostly clear skies. Next seven days, 90s for a couple of more days, Wednesday and Thursday. Then here comes that cold front, a good chance for rain on Friday night. And then we cool it down into the 70s Saturday through Tuesday with a decent chance for rain showers just about every day. Let's go back to Russ.